All right, here's uh, Jenny again, and now it's 55 pounds. She just did 65 pounds about six times. Now she's going to do 55 just to burn it out. Let's see if she can do it 10 times. You guys, I already did it six times already at um, 65 pounds, so now I'm going back down to um, 55 pounds, all right? Let's see if she can do it 10 times, and let's see if she can touch her chest with each rep. All right. I'll help her with the lift off again. Because like I said, she has shorter arms, so she should get a lift off. This one. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. She's touching her chest. Five is good. She's touching her chest. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Help me, Freddie. Hurry. <laughs> oh my god, help me. I'm about to die. <laughs> so, another thing that's a factor is that having a bigger chest does help. Shut up! Because then she doesn't have to go down as much. Shut up! Because <laughs> if her chest oh. is out here, you only have to go down this much. Oh, shut up, Freddie. So, that's one of the benefits. And another benefit yeah. is when you have short arms, you don't got to go down as low either. When you got long arms, you got a lot more. But we're smaller people, guys. Yeah, so that's part of the benefits of being short and having a big chest. Oh, shut up, Freddie. <laughs>